Hey guys, how's it going? I'm the Silver Grunion, and we're going to play Batman for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Thanks for joining me here. Make sure you like and subscribe. We're going to have a great time as we try to tackle this gem on the Nintendo. As you know, this game is insanely brutal, so we are playing on the easy mode. Coming to you from Game Genie, we have unlimited projectiles, unlimited tries, and health drops are a little bit better. So let's see how far we can go. The wall jump is absolutely essential. To get through this game, you have to master it and make it your friend. But I, like Batman, do not make friends easy, so this can prove to be a challenge. But that's what Batman on the NES is all about. Even with codes, this game is tough. These guys can be really tough if you don't know what you're doing and if you don't have enough projectiles, which again is not going to be a problem in this stream. But still we must rise to the challenge of our rival. Wait, isn't that Rocky? Uh, don't leave that in. Drop down and catch this guy sleeping. Works every time. He should have read Mark 1335. Watch therefore, for you do not know when the master of the house is coming. Here we go with our first boss fight against Killer Moth. Fun fact, uh, in the upcoming Batgirl movie, which was cancelled, uh, Killer Moth would have possibly been played by Brendan Fraser, who's having a career renaissance, and I think that would have been really cool, but wasn't to be, as we take out the first boss and move on to stage two. So far, so good. The first level is always easy, and now we're going to rank up the difficulty a little bit here in the chemical plant zone. Sounds like a Sonic game, but no, it's the second level of Batman for the NES. Of course, it is based on the Michael Keaton Batman movie, so we, this was the scene where, of course, the Joker, uh, Jack Napier, got knocked into the ooze, into the acid, which would eventually turn him, of course, into the Joker. Getting the timing of the jumps just right is a science. And I failed science. A lot of comparisons made to this game and Ninja Gaiden for the wall jump, but I think I may take some heat for this, but I think the wall jump in Batman is a little bit more precise and possibly more forgiving. It's definitely more satisfying to leap from pillar to post. Whereas in Ninja Gaiden, it feels really like you're just waiting to fall off a cliff. Batman gives you a fighting chance. As a kid, I really uh, had trouble mastering uh, these levels. I could get through stage one just fine, but after that, forget it. So it's really fun to come back here all these years later and really check out this fun and exciting game. These henchmen are actually Heatwave, who you might remember from the uh, Arrowverse Flash television show. And of course, multiple comics. Uh, this game is littered with iconic characters who are relegated to lower level henchmen, but it's still nice to see them there. Some good fan service by the developers. All right, slow and steady here. Wins the race against the machine intelligence. That's the name of this boss. Although I always thought it was based on the computer. At the end of Superman 3, the, the movie with Richard Pryor, at the end there's a giant computer that was built to destroy Superman. And I always felt like this computer was loosely based on that concept. To my knowledge, the machine intelligence never appeared in a Batman comic or TV show, but to be honest, it looks pretty cool. And it could be a concept they use in the future if they would stop canceling projects. I would have liked to have seen Ben Affleck take on a giant computer. Maybe it could have been voiced by Matt Damon. It's not your fault. Oh, these things. 
these things here are solely responsible for ending the gaming endeavors for so many kids who got this game for their birthday, for Christmas, or rented it on the weekend. If you even let them on the screen, you are done. They will follow you till the ends of the earth. And this level here is really where the unlimited projectiles is going to come into play. And I know, obviously, I'm playing as a very arbitrary easy mode. I understand that. I'm, I'm horrible. I'm not a good gamer. Whatever you want to say. I'm just trying to have fun. I'd like to see the entire game. And this is the only way I can do it. Because you cannot get through this without a copious amount of projectiles. And if you die once, you're done. You might as well restart the game. So call me whatever you want, I'm just having fun, and that's what video games are supposed to be about. I have total and complete respect for anybody that can get through this game uh, without any kind of codes or any kind of easy mode, but that's just not me, so... I don't mean to get on my soapbox, I'm just saying games are supposed to be fun. Play them however you want, as long as you're not hurting somebody else or cheating some other person. But as far as the computer goes, I say, all is fair and love and war. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's what I get for getting defensive. I have absolutely no idea where I'm going. I have never been this far, so... Good for me, but this is, uh... This is what separates the men from the boys. I guess we can't go here. So we'll go over here. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. No! Ah! Uh -huh. No! All right, we'll be careful here. And this time, we're going to inch our way down and try not to repeat what we did before. I think right here. we got to drop straight down. Oh, no, no, not again. No! Come on! Get out! Come on! Oh! All right, there's another one. Oh, you're not gonna catch me riding dirty. I'm Batman, I'm ready for you. Oh, this is so stressful. This is so stressful, this is a, a, a real thing. My doctor said no stress. So I put in Batman for the NES, smart. It's like a cave or a cavern, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a weird, it's a weird lair. It's a weird stage. But we're going to get through it. These guys are, are terrible. I cannot figure out their pattern. Ugh. There, go bother Robocop. Another one. Why? Ah, no. Lord Jesus, give me strength. I'm losing my patience here. There, got him. I'm pretty sure this is the electrocutioner. Oof. Sonic Boom. Can I hit him with a Hadouken? I didn't need to. Batman prevails. That is one ugly Joker. But cool graphics. I feel like the Joker is taunting us as we get closer and closer. This is the furthest um, I've ever been. So this is... Uh, this is quite a night so far. Hopefully we can keep going. I'd like to at least see the final boss. I'm not sure if we can beat him. I did look up some strategies just in case. Always be prepared. All oh, these guys again? Now I saw this on a uh, walkthrough, a stream. And uh, this is possibly the hardest part of the game, at least for the platforming. The jumping, so... You'll forgive me if I go a little quiet here. I may have to concentrate. I mean, so far, so good. But I believe the difficult part is coming up, and it's a doozy. I don't know why I said that weird. I I'm nervous. It's it's. We're playing Batman for the NES, and uh, we're getting pretty far. The chips are down. The stakes are high. And I, Batman... I'm jumping around here trying to figure out where to go. Now, you know, the jumping part uh, a few minutes ago wasn't too bad. Uh, 
maybe I'm thinking of a different part, but uh, we're doing pretty good here. I, I feel like it's going to spike. Oh, whoops. It's going to spike at some point. It's going to get a lot more difficult. All right. What's down here? Oh, whoa. We have to destroy that. Okay. I guess we can just drop through. Try to avoid the electricity. Oof. Uh, it reminds me of, of Mega Man. I mean, much more, uh, much more forgiving than the Mega Man stage. But we have to drop down and not get hit by the uh, the electricity. But in Mega Man, it's a one-hit death. Whereas here, at least we just take a little bit of damage. That's fine. That's fine. Just get to the bottom. I'm not taking any chances. I need my health. Oh, so I think this is the part I was talking about a while ago that was going to be really hard. I think this, uh, right here. Here it is. Come on, get up there. Okay. Oh, man, I saw this on the walkthrough. It's so hard. Get up. Oof. That one enemy is causing us trouble. Oof. He knocked me off. Oh, no, no, no. Get up there. Just gotta get rid of him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Go. Oh. Almost out of health, too. Here we go. All right. I gotta concentrate. Concentrate. Come on. I hope you're still with me. My computer's acting funny. I can't look right now. Okay. All right. We made it. We got through. Good for us. Then you things again? Okay. Now I'm ready for you. You're not surprising me. I'm Batman. Now, we're not just Batman. We're Michael Keaton Batman. We got the black cowl and everything. Not gonna stop us with some RoboCop reject. I'm getting upset. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. I'm... We... I can feel it, folks. We are getting towards the end here. And, uh... I am nervous. I am... I mean, these, these low-level enemies here, and I'm treating them like like they're, they're boss fights. I just, I, oof. I really want to get up this staircase and survive. Is it too much to ask? Ow, oh, this is bad. Go, go, go. Just run through. Run, run, Batman. Da -na 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 -na. All right, with this machine, this, this boss uh, should be okay. As long as I use the projectiles, uh, it should be fine. There's probably better strategies out there, but this, we're just going to go with endurance and try to survive and out-survive the two maniacal machines that are trying to destroy us. Let's try. I'm just going to throw batarangs all day. Because I'm Batman. Again, I couldn't imagine uh, being able to do this without the projectiles. I'm, I know people can. Um, I'm sure with a lot of practice, uh, it could possibly happen, but... Oh, there's one. Oh, now he changes his pattern. Oops. Oh, and his attack, though. We gotta be careful. Oh, go, go, go. Fire it, fire it, fire it. Fox fire! Got it. There we go. Ooh, the Batwing makes an appearance on the Nintendo Entertainment System. I've never seen this cutscene. That's cool. And here we go, the final stretch of the game. All right, right here, we're just going to take our time. Slow and steady. We know what we're doing. We can do it. We've got the tools, we've got the talent. We just have to use them in a practical manner. Inch our way forward. If we're not careful, those guys will sap our health in a heartbeat. We gotta be careful. All right, they're both gone. Get up there, don't hit the gears. Okay. We missed the health upgrade, but that's fine. We'll find another one. Oh, look out. This is no time to get sloppy. Okay, let's assess. I have no health. Um, this is bad, but we're gonna keep going. All 
I've been standing here long enough. Let's go. Let's try it. Let's go. Gotta wait for the pattern. One. One, two. Nice and easy. One. Two. Boom. One. One. Two. Boom. There he goes. All right, that's one. Ooh, careful. Get him. Trying not to get hit. One hit and we are down right here. Oh, we can't go up. We, uh oh, there you go. All right, at least it starts us at the, the beginning of this stage. So uh, now we that the, the benefit of that is now we have to get through without losing a lot of life. We need a lot of health at the end of that, that, that tower we're climbing. So let's go through here and let's really try to not get hit, at least not too much. I'm not promising a perfect run, but let's just try to do a little bit better. My hands are sweating. This is intense. This is intense. So at the end of this stage, I believe is the final two bosses of the game. So uh, we're in pretty good shape. We just have to get there with, with good health. Oh, there's some. All right. We're almost there. We're doing good. We just don't want to make any mistakes, any unnecessary mistakes. Nothing fool. Oh, come on, get up there. Ugh, get nervous. We just have to be careful. That's all it is. It's it's a matter of mind over matter. I'm so nervous. My hands are sweating. I'm excited. Um, this is fun. It's not cheap. It's not uh, frustrating. It's it's fun, but man. It requires a lot of concentration. We're not invincible, so we've got to use our skill uh, still to get up this mountain. There we go. Blammo. Got him. Our health is not great, but we just got to get up there without getting here. Hit. Ooh. Get over there. Get over. Oh. All right, we have no health, and here's the first boss. It's Firebug. Oh, and that's it. That's fine. Now we got full health. Let's try this again. I, I have an idea of how to beat him. Let's try. Going to spam him with uh, Batarang. Can try to get him into a pattern. Try to get him into a pattern. Come on. Oh, yes! And one down, one to go. And then there was the Joker. Okay, here we go. We can only use our fists. We have got to avoid his gunfire, which we did not. And we can only use our fists, so that's going to be challenging. Ugh. All right, here we go again. It's no time to get impatient. We've got to wear down the Joker. All right, there we go, there we go. We have to get him into a somewhat of a pattern and maybe we can get him against the wall or something. I might sound calm, but I am not. <laughs> not at all. It's the Joker. Come on, come on, go, go, go. Oh, so close. I feel like it was close. I don't know how many hits he takes, but I feel like that last one, I was so close. Come on, we just gotta do it. Okay, there we go. Oh, man, that hurt. That really hurt. Oh, that was not good at all. All right, come on. Come on, follow him. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, the Joker's stumbling. And I think we did it. I think we did it. We did. Ladies and gentlemen, Batman has defeated the Joker. And we have gotten to the end of Batman on the Nintendo Entertainment System. As the Joker takes a tumble down to the ground. I, I, I don't remember if that happened in the movie. But it happened here on Nintendo. 
and I'm getting kind of emotional. I can't believe we finally beat Batman for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, one of the hardest games in the library. Also, one of the best. Uh, what, what a great game. It was true to the movie. Um, the aesthetics were great. The controls were great. The, gra the whole thing was great. And I know... Uh, there's the credits. It's real. I, I know we used uh, some Game Genie codes. So, you know, it, we didn't officially beat it. But you know what? Uh, I had fun. And that's the important thing. Don't let anybody tell you how to play your video games. If you want to have fun, if you need a little help... There's nothing wrong with that, just like in real life. If you need help, reach out and ask. And if you need help in a video game, Game Genie's got you covered. At least when it comes to the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, we were able to beat the game. It was still difficult. Uh, we, worked, we were not invincible. We still had to deal with all the platforming. And uh, I call this a win. I had fun, and that's the main thing. Uh, thank you guys very much for joining me here. I am the Silvered Grunion. You can find me on Twitter. Like and subscribe on YouTube, and I'm going to go have a sarsaparilla and put my feet up and tell my friends I beat Batman for Nintendo. Man, God bless you guys, and we'll see you next time. Have a good night.